assuming that you can find your way through that maze and arrive at a, a, a solution that helps you um, share your data with your community, um, you sort of have to, I think, when you put it out there, um, tailor it to the audiences that you know about. But uh, be aware that in the future, or even just a little bit outside of your normal circle of operation, there are users who may want to use your stuff that you may not know about, or may want to use it in ways that you don't anticipate. Um, and that's where good documentation of, uh, of all your processes kind of helps you in the future. Uh, so if you, if you get good documentation habits when, as you feed your catalog, then you know when some with you know your 400 records into your catalog and someone comes and asks you about record number three, um, you uh, hopefully your habits have like um, kept you from getting into trouble. Let's put it that way. Uh, so because ultimately we write all this metadata so that the, the data can go out there in the world and sh uh, you know nicely dressed and and put on a good show for your organization, but you might be one of the biggest users of your own metadata in the future. You're going to have new hires, you're going to have retirements, you're going to have people who can't remember what happened in 1994. And so it's really helpful if you can write down as much as you can uh, while it's all fresh in everybody's mind. Um, community, you basically are a part of your own community, is what that is. Um, So I'm, I'm basically done here. Um, we got when we did a dry run of this last year. I wasn't sure if it was be long enough or short enough. Um, I realized after talking with Todd that we made it all the way through the presentation without including um, Metadata Max from last year. And of course, there's so many new people here. It might not matter because nobody knows who Max is. But he just wanted to say hi. Um, and then because Max was kind of scary to people like Emilio. Um, <laughs> We also just wanted to include a uh, sort of a more friendly way to think about metadata. <laughs> um, you're, you, this is the you know you are the you are a user of your own metadata in the future. So. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>